Hello everyone, this is Sean, and as you can see here, I'm finally getting to my long overdue video on how to make a DIY virtual reality headset for the Xbox, PlayStation, PC, you name it. So I posted the original video of me showing this device in action uh, way back in early 2015, and I promised a follow-up video showing how to actually make one of these. Okay, so first of all, I want everyone to know I made a nice long guide, a PDF document that I posted. You can find the link in my video description for how to do all this, the step-by-step -step instructions, the coding required, all the components, you name it. The step-by-step -step guide is in the PDF document. So I will give you an overview in this video of what makes this work and all the components. But if you really want the details in order to do this right, you're gonna have to check out my PDF document. All right, so first of all, you need some video glasses, okay? Uh, these video glasses I got on Amazon for uh, about $80, $90. And as of the time I made the video, uh, these were the least cost. Definitely not the highest quality. You can definitely go way up from here. Uh, but this is what I got. Uh, you can see uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. One thing I should mention is it's not 3D. You'll see the same image in both eyepieces. So as you wear this, uh, you want a way to get whatever is coming from the Xbox or your PC or PlayStation or whatever device, you want to get that signal into your video glasses. So this video glass unfortunately does not accept HDMI input. It accepts component input into the glasses. Uh, so in order to get the HDMI signal into the glasses, I had to buy this little uh, HDMI adapter which converts the HDMI signal into the component signal which goes into the glasses. Now something else you'll see on this glasses is the motion sensor. Okay, this is a nine degree of freedom motion sensor. So this is a really cool and powerful device. It's got a gyroscope, it's got an accelerometer, it's got everything you need to really detect motion. Now for my project, I only use the gyroscope. Uh, and that's again, that's detailed inside the report. But basically you can see these wires here coming out from the nine degree of freedom sensor and going all the way into the Arduino Uno, okay? So I use the Arduino Uno. This is kind of the brains of the system. Uh, the, it takes the motion from the glasses. So when I look up, when I look down, when I look left, when I look right, when I look all around, it takes that motion and it says, okay, I'm gonna convert that motion into controller signals for the Xbox or whatever device you're using. All right, so it takes that and converts it into a controller signal and that basically goes through the USB. So the signal that it converts into is a joystick signal, okay? In order to do that, you're going to want to download something to your Arduino Uno called Uno Joy. Again, that's detailed in my guide. It's called Uno Joy. It makes your Arduino Uno behave like a gamepad for a PC. Now, the Xbox One does not accept gamepad signals from the USB. If you plug this in, it will not recognize this as a Xbox One controller. So how do you convert the gamepad signals coming out of here into an Xbox One controller signal? So the magic recipe is this guy over here. So this is really cool. This is called the Titan One. This is an amazing device in and of itself. This device deserves a whole video of itself. There are plenty of videos out there. You can basically, I'll just give you a really quick uh, a teaser. You can take any controller, PC, keyboard, uh, PlayStation controller, uh, Wii controller, you name it. You can take that controller and put it into your Xbox and vice versa. It takes any controller and lets you plug it into anywhere else. So basically what you wanna do is plug in the Arduino into this, set this up to use it as an Xbox. You plug into your computer, you set it up and plug this into the USB port on the Xbox. And that essentially makes your Arduino Uno into an Xbox controller. So now, when I look up on my glasses, when I look down on my glasses, or left or right, that converts that motion into the Xbox motion. Now it's not only up, down, left, right, you can program an unlimited number of buttons. Okay, so, so that's where this comes in. This 
this is the uh, NES gun, the original kind of the duck hunt gun for those of you old enough to have played uh, NES. Uh, you can see here I got this on Amazon, uh, fairly affordable. So this is also plugged in directly into the Arduino Uno and it's got a detection for a button. So when I press this button, it fires, okay? And I can also walk around. So I can walk around using this joystick and then I can fire by pressing the button. I guess I could have wired this up, but uh, I didn't uh, wire that up. You can if you want to. Uh, so you can see I bought this little joystick. You can, you can program an unlimited, um, you don't have to use this gun. This might be kind of cheesy, I admit, but it looks cool. But you can, you can program, you can put the buttons wherever you want. You can put the joystick wherever you want. You can make it look however you want it to. It's fully customizable. Okay, and that's it. So now when you press the button to fire, it'll fire on the Xbox. When you turn here or go there, it'll do that on the Xbox. Uh, when you look up or look down or look around, inside, it'll do that on the Xbox. So when you're wearing the video glasses, you actually feel like you're in the game because when you look left, it looks left in the game. When you look right, it looks right in the game. So it makes you feel like you're actually inside the game. Okay, so that was it. Just a really quick video showing the basics of how this works. Again, for the details, for the code, for the instructions, the, the, the building of this, do check out my PDF guide. Uh, if I try to make a video showing every single nook and cranny detail, it'll be, uh, the video will be just way too long. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with showing that. If you have any questions, do ask me at any time. It's fairly straightforward. Everything's in the guide and that's it. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you very much for watching.